welcome to the segment we call It Takes an Idiom to Know One, hosted by Sarcastic Scott, Jurassic John, and Artistic Ali. So, John, we're living in a crazy world when I can ask you, are you vaccinated? Gee, that's uh, that's escalated very quickly. Yep. <laughs> well, you said you thought, you, you know, I know that's a very sensitive question, but you walked the well, dog. What's the comeback? Come on. What's the, well, well, first of all, is that a, is that the type of question we can ask these days socially? Is it a type of question we ask? You're not supposed to ask it. But people are asking it. Yep. But they're asking it when they feel comfortable with the person. They're not going to ask a stranger, I don't think. Mm. Mm. So they're asking it when they feel comfortable asking it. Even in our office, don't you know who's vaccinated and who's not vaccinated? No. Well, I haven't. Basically, I, I, though, right? I, I do know if I, if I um, put my mind to it, but I don't. How okay? Is, let's take a. How many people are not vaccinated in the office? Well, look, we're talking about living in a crazy world, right? Yes. Yep. And we want to talk about idioms um, that describe somebody being crazy. Hmm. These are crazy times. Got are you run? avoiding my? Are you avoiding my question? I've I've got a, I've got a uh, I've got an answer for you. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to uh, put it out there for anybody else that needs to answer this question in a social situation. Ah, okay. So, Ali, uh, or no, Scott, go ahead and ask me. And uh, let's, say, let's say we're at a barbecue. Yeah, these are crazy times, man. People are scared, right? People are scared. They're nervous because yes. they think that unvaccinated people. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, John, are you vaccinated? <laughs> Do I look like I'm vac vaccinated? <laughs> <laughs> okay that's a good answer yeah and that's my answer and I, and I you know i put it out there you know if you if you're if you feel uncomfortable with the question there you go mm -hmm. do i look like i'm vaccinated and then let them guess yeah that's a good one <laughs> and or, then avoid <laughs> yeah. i just thought one was like yeah against stupid. Well, saxony yes. saxony it just changed to uh is it 3g or 2g bravaria is some parts of Bavaria are 3G now, right? So, John, you couldn't go in that store if well, you actually, were unvaccinated. I've, I, I, went to the I went to the first bar since um, the whole pandemic started the other day. And, and um, it was quite confronting, like the new norm. I was asked to show my um, vaccination ID. I was asked to show my ID to prove that I'm the person in my vaccination ID. Okay. So it was... Uh, yeah, it felt quite strange and yeah, not very comfortable. Do you have, okay, here's another question. Um, okay, before you ask someone if they're vaccinated, you should ask, did you download that application from the German, you know, the German government funded that application? Did you download that application on your smartphone? No, I had to scroll through my photos <laughs> and find a, a picture of a- When are we talking about? You know, the coronavirus app. Oh, yeah, app. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. my vaccination fits neatly in there. And yeah, that's what I that's what I pull out when I show people on the phone. Same here. Yep. Yeah, okay, so let's go back to our idiom. It's a crazy world, right? It mm -hmm. is a crazy world. Yeah. Mm. And um, we have idioms to uh, describe crazy people. Oh, yeah. Bunch. <laughs> so... Ali? Ali, yeah, Ali, you selected one today. What was the one you selected? Uh, flying off the handle. Oh. Mm -hmm. Flying off the handle. So could you use that in a sentence? Yeah, well, I mean, I know you're upset, but there's no point flying off the handle like that. <laughs> I, I, I reckon you've used that one recently. <laughs> yes. You I spent know. some time with your girlfriend in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to go there, but yes. <laughs> or perhaps you're on the phone with your mum. Uh, thank goodness, no. <laughs> but girlfriend, uh, I'll just leave it at a, you know. Oh, she could be listening. You know, you don't, uh, I can see Ali, he, he, I could see him flying off the handle with his roommate. Oh, yes. thank goodness, no, never. Oh, never. <laughs> I'm pretty chill. But not, but not your girlfriend or your mother. 
Yeah, that's America. true. Then I could see it... Ali flying off the handle when his uh, roommate is cooking with a few too many chilies. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's the curry powder that kills oh, me. It's the curry powder. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's a... <laughs> see? <laughs> Scott, how about you? What do you call crazy people? What do I call crazy people? Dude, I call crazy people 99. I call them like toks and togos. Like, and, and that's what we, that's what we call them in Kyrgyz. Like, you know, somebody walking down the street, not 100%, we call them 99. Um, but in English, English, when I see somebody has pushed it too far, I say, wow, that guy has really gone off the deep end. Mm. Or that person has really gone off the deep end. Gone off the deep end. Have you got an example perhaps? You were telling us about you were telling you were telling us about some guys that hijacked a plane and ran off it. You want to quickly recap <laughs> that little news flash? <laughs> yeah, on the flight from Morocco to Turkey. Yeah, twenty guys on a plane. Like, you know, one guy says he's having a heart attack or something, had heart problems, maybe diabetic, diabetic shock. I can't remember exactly the story. So they land in Mallorca. So they time this thing perfectly. So I guess EMS is coming onto the plane. As soon as the doors open, 20 guys run out as fast as they can. <laughs> so, 20, so 20 guys ran, were running across the tarmac in Mallorca. I mean, the guy like, I think- Fleeing like, for freedom. I can't remember how many people successfully, they caught like half of them, but there's still half out there. But the guy who faked the heart attack, obviously he couldn't get that far, right? So like he was, he was the sacrificial lamb, I think. Oh, somebody, somebody had to sacrifice. Wow. Yeah. You know, on the, on the one level, I think their plan was like genius. <laughs> but on the other level, I'm not quite sure. Like it sounds like a plan where guys would um, um, think of in a bar and say, hey, wouldn't it be good if we did this and this? I mean, the, 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 types the genius, of, yeah. the genius with these guys is they did it. <laughs> well, there's the risk that people are willing to take, you know? Yep. It's not a bad plan. I, I, I have a little respect for the guys for me <laughs> being able to pull it off. <laughs> well, I mean, like they haven't totally pulled it off. I mean, some people have been arrested. Of course, they're still, yep. you know, there's, you know what the flaw in that plan is? What is it? They landed on an island. <laughs> So That's it was true. a really good plan. Let's get to Europe. And, you know, it, and, you know, they, when they probably when they arrest people, you know, they, they got the guys they're like, how, who, how'd you guys think of this idea? And they're like, dude, Lukashenkov. That's how we got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're okay. right. It's in, in some aspects, like, you know, so, it yeah. is, have they, have they gone over the deep end? Yeah. They've, I mean, like, well, hmm. yeah, that's a good question. So when you go, <laughs> When you lose it, right? When you lose it, let's say like you lose it into like some kind of violent act or you've got like some, you've broken down mentally. Like, yeah, you've gone off the deep end. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of how I imagine this. Addiction, uh, let's well. say addiction. Obviously, maybe addiction also is another uh, mm -hmm. area that you would use that. Like that guy's got off the deep end. Like he can't get yeah. off crack. He can't yeah. get off crack. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's running around. <laughs> in the nude <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. although running around in the nude might suit my idiom for somebody who's crazy okay, okay. we're curious yes I would say uh, that person has a screw loose ah yeah okay. that, that, that would definitely fit hmm <laughs> As a screw loose. Okay, yeah. So, okay, so is that a, is that is that someone we would say to like mental illness? No, no, I wouldn't go so far. Just yeah. somebody who you might think, oh, that's just a really stupid thing to do. Yeah, yeah but there's an old lady that walks around the South Center. Have you ever seen the old lady? She like, she, you know, she walks around with her hands behind her back, and she's real nice, and she talks to herself, and like she doesn't do any harm. But she's, you know, you kind of thinking like, you know, she's not homeless, but you know, she's definitely got a screw loose. She definitely have a screw. Is she the one with the um, shopping bags, empty shopping bags? 
hmm. maybe she's short, kind of cute, looks like someone's grandma, you know, like harmless. I saw her in Wittenberg, so she hmm. travels. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, she's got a screw loose. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. I tend to think that, because um, as I was thinking about an example, mm -hmm. I couldn't I couldn't help but think that um, it's what people might say about me. Are you a screw loose? Mm, you're not there yet. You're almost there. You know, I went swimming the other day. <laughs> almost there. I went swimming the other day, and you know, the weather now is not so warm anymore. Of course, mm -hmm. you went to a lake, right? Not a pool. Yeah, I went to a lake. Yeah, of course you went to a lake. Because wow. Germans have a screw loose, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was telling somebody, and, and they, and they um, yeah, they made a German reference to me having a screw loose. Oh, okay. And then your response should be like, hey, dude, I'm vaccinated. <laughs> no, my, my response should be, do I look like I'm vaccinated? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Do you think that people that are, are, okay, so people that sort of believe in the conspiracy world, like the conspiracy theories, are they more likely or unlikely to get vaccinated? Ali. Do they have a screw loose or do they have a screwed, are they screwed in? Because they Ali's may know. Ali's our expert on conspiracy theorists. Oh, Go. God. Well, I mean, the thing is, uh, most of these people, uh, I'll say it, it has more to do with politics than anything else. It's not yeah. even a conspiracy. Yeah, it's so just, it's just politics at this point. Someone, somebody else telling them what to do. Yeah, uh, that's one thing. But even the idea that it's a political difference, mm -hmm. like or uh, like uh, somebody's pushing it on them. They don't want that. And that is why they're being a bit more aggressive these days. Yeah, I mean, dude, we, we rarely talk about the coalition anymore. The coalition, are they still talking? <laughs> like, the, is there a German government? There's not a German government right now, right? Well, so the, we're, we're in the, um, we're sort of middle, almost middle November in we, 2021. And we don't have a government. Yeah. That's correct. Nobody's yeah. replaced Merkel. Yep. I, so is it the Ministry of Health that's still giving us advice on 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 how to, like, who's directing the country on the policy of the COVID policy? Gee, good question. <laughs> no, nobody knows exactly. <laughs> I know one thing for sure. We'd be the last to know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think um, before everyone has gone off the deep end, in Germany, they'll bring back the free testing. Hmm. Yeah. Do we pay for testing now? We pay for it now, but I think it's going to come back to okay. free. Yeah, so we're living in a crazy world. That's right. Can we can we rate our crazy idioms? Which one would be the least crazy? Ah, the least crazy. I think yours, John. Well, who's the least craziest of all of us? Oh, John, okay. you're the so craziest. Let's, let's just say John's got a screw loose. Next. I've probably going to be Ali. <laughs> flown <off> the... Ali? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't usually fly off the handle, but sometimes I do when there's too much curry. <laughs> I can I imagine Ali fly, Ali's version of flying off the handle may be like pressing the return button on his desk, uh, on his computer three times. <laughs> what is like, what, what, I mean, what would get Ali upset? Oh God, so many things. <laughs> Really? Yeah, a lot of things. <laughs> well, we don't. That. Then we don't know you privately that much. No, I mean the thing is, I am usually very calm, but it's it's not. Uh, ironically, it is both my girlfriend and my mom that make me the most angry. Is that who have that you know like that finger on my pulse? That's the combination of the two, right? You're in a, you're in a tug of war. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Exactly. Dad, he's perfectly fine, doesn't do anything, like he's chill. Uh, but mom and the girlfriend are always there. And that that contention between the two is what usually is my breaking point. I'm really looking forward to them to uh, spending more time together. Oh, God. <laughs> no. So if, if um, uh, what was yours, Ali? Uh, flying off the handle flying off the handle comes um after that makes more sense because that's more based on anger yeah like crazy ang tier. anger craziness 
Exactly. And then mine like going off the deep end, that's total crazy. That's like, yeah. that's like you've been institutionalized. Basically losing it. Arrested. Yeah. That's, that's uh, Scott walk, walking around with his microphone. Jumped off a bridge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Inter- interviewing <laughs> random people on the street. Yeah. Are you, have you been vaccinated? Have you been vaccinated? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a couple of blows to the head. Oh, no. No, it is. You know, it, it, when my German students have asked me that, like, you know, if I don't know them that well, it does upset me. Is, is it a discussion yeah, in class? What's that? Is it a discussion in class? Uh, it's always a discussion in class, at least the first five minutes, especially when the incident rate is going up. That's that's what everybody talks about. Yeah, like, you know, I talked to some students today and I said, like, do you think we're going to like reinstitute the mask policy? They're like, no. <laughs> and I said, do you think we should? Because it's getting, you know, it's getting more like the levels are going up. No. <laughs> so I'm looking I'm looking forward to the uh, high f- the high fives one meter apart. <laughs> <laughs> the virtual high five going crazy we're all going crazy it seems mm-hmm. uh, Very crazy. one way or another i mean here's a good example we did not even conclude yet <laughs> this goes to show <laughs> yeah well you know it's just like uh yeah it's also winter you know winter makes people like you know the the getting dark at 3 30 makes people a little bit more tense yep. yes and tired yes. and agitated yeah yeah so we'll see thank you for listening to in lingua podcast live from dasal we hope you stay tuned for more episodes